What's up, dears? Today we're back with another episode of The Letter. Um, last time, Isabella, she passed the hell out <laughs> after she saw that creepy ghostly lady in her feet. And, um, and she's, she says she's better now, so we can go back to work. Okay. Let's continue. I think continue was the right option, or was it load? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, good. And hurry, we still... Why do I have to void? That's fine. And hurry, we still got a few minutes to double check those papers. Okay, got it. The two of them disappear behind the parlor's door and I've got a journal You can read that if you want to. Their departure brings with it a stillness to keep me company, neither welcoming nor comforting. Alone like this, it's impossible not to think of what really happened. I wish the memory isn't a, as elusive as it normally is. Then again, Rose already said she didn't receive any call from me. Was it just paranoia, a temporary lapse after having heard all those tales about this place? Probably. I want to think of it as such. Better to think of it as such, so I can work in peace. Except a small part of my mind begs to differ. And if I am going to be completely honest with myself, I want nothing more than to leave this place as soon as possible. I don't know what's in this house, and I don't want to know. The keys Rose have just... Bleh. The keys Rose have just handed me dig into my palm. It's jagged edges creating shallow ridges on my skin from how hard I'm clutching it. It's a reminder of what I still need to do and why I've taken this job in the first place. Cause girl, you need some money. <laughs> Hugging my blazer closely to my body, I exit the house to get what Rose has asked of me. Just a few more hours, Isabella. Sell the house and get the money. Uh. Excuse me? Excuse me? Are we not gonna talk about that? <laughs> a flock of people have already gathered in the mansion's front yard by the time we officially open the doors. I'm not sure whether I should feel baffled or underdressed standing in their presence. Men and women of wealth and status, all dressed to the nines in fancy suits and lovely dresses of varying colors, compose the medium-sized crowd. Their necks, arms, and fingers are adorned with silver and gold, glinting in the afternoon sun. Some even have ridiculously fancy feathered hats on their heads. I really hope there aren't any magpies living nearby like in the stories. Those birds will have a field day in this. They're murmuring among themselves, looking at the estate's facade appraisingly, with some arguing about whose mansion has a superior architecture. But most of it stops as Rose calls for their attention. They don't look too pleased at being ordered around, but what can they do about it? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We'll be taking a tour of the mansion in two groups. Please make sure you've filled up our sign-in forms before joining a specific group. Girl, your voice is really loud in my mic. Okay, that's why. My headphones. Sorry! Those who want to look around the first floor, please follow my partner. I'll be guiding the ones who wish to see the ground floor. Hearing this, a few wander to me. They are most, mostly old ladies who seem daunted at the idea of climbing all those stairs. Bruh, I would be among them because I hate climbing stairs. I got bad knees, okay? I'm not even old yet. Kinda. I'm almost. Who knows? Miss McCullough! <laughs> McCullough! Miss McCullough also joins her. I swear, I need her to say her name again. Cola. Um, but what really catches my eye is the elegantly dressed pair she approaches. It's so nice to finally meet you. When Chief Inspector Lee mentioned that a famous interior designer is in town, I knew I had to get you. Your confidence in my skills is very flattering, ma'am. 
I'm sure you won't disappoint, Marianne. What is your voice? Why'd you say it like that? Oh, you know each other? Not at all, ma'am. I know what happened. You mentioned something about a Marianne on our way here, darling? Oh, yes, I think I did. Ah, they must be the clients she was talking about. I might have seen their faces somewhere before, some magazine or the television, I can't quite remember. But then again, most of our guests have likely ended up on the news, one way or another. I won't be surprised if these two already have. For people who are popular though, they aren't dressed as loudly as the others, and in their simplicity, the couple stands out. The woman in particular is stunning enough to turn the heads of most people in my group, especially the men with wandering eyes. The guy standing beside her doesn't seem to mind though. And if I'm going to be a bit bolder with my assumptions, I'd say he's basking in the attention. Both of them, in fact. I think they're brother and sister if it wasn't for their public display of affection. The matching rings on their fingers just cement the fact that they are indeed a couple. My only sunshine. Whatever. Couple or not, what's important is we get this deal closed before the current owners can even think about canceling the listing. I just hope one of the people in my or Rose's group is brave and generous enough to buy this mansion. And so, with papers in hand, I lead the way. I got another journal update. You can read that if you want to. When there aren't whispering, when they aren't whispering among themselves or going ooh and ah over one thing or another, they ask questions. From how the restoration process went to the history of the place, I answer them all. More than happy to talk about the art pieces and architecture mostly. However, I'm careful not to mention anything about the urban legend. Not a good material for sales talk, even if the entire population of Luxmore knows about Some it. Some of the furnishings here are actually the 17th century originals all of which have undergone a painstaking restoration process just to return its original beauty. Even the glass... thing. Colorful ones. Oh, I don't know, but you get the idea, I hope. Especially that one, ma'am. It is said to be a gift commissioned by the fiancé of Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. The glass thing? I don't know. <laughs> How cute. I actually don't mind her as a character. Like I said before, I've watched like some um, Let's Players play through, not the whole thing, because I didn't want to like spoil the whole thing for myself, but I saw a good bit of it. And I don't mind her as a character. The mansion's current owners have specifically requested that the restoration crew take great care in handling it. It's a priceless work of art and the most distinctive feature of the mansion. By the time I've stopped talking, her attention is already elsewhere. Isn't this place wonderful, darling? I told you it's not a total waste of your time. I don't know. Isn't it a bit too small? We might have to break a wall down to have more room. Well, I think it is just right. Don't you think so, Marianne? It is splendid, ma'am. But isn't it a little too early to make plans when no deal has been signed yet? Wait, why did the story update? Why did the story update? Okay, I'm curious. What am I? Wait. Huh. I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's because I prayed to Jesus. I said, Lord, please help me. And he's like, okay, fam, I got you. <laughs> Never mind that. It isn't going to be a problem. We've got a wonderful legal team to handle everything. Start taking notes, though. I think I've got a few things I want changed before we move in. The rest of their conversation gets lost in the chatter of our companions. I don't want to make any assumptions yet, but their sheer interest is enough to give me some semblance of hope. Oh, please, please, please let these guys be the ones. Because I need the money. 
Eventually, our group reaches the kitchen. Much like the rest of the house, a great deal of effort has been put in retaining the room's classic, classical appeal. I don't like it. Although that knife right there is very sharp. Yes, yes, it is. The open hearth at the end of the room in particular looks amazing, like the ones I've only seen in fairy tale books. And mad props to the cleaning crew. Seriously, after overhearing hundreds of their complaints about the soot and tar staining the bricks and how much of a pain in the arse cleaning this will be, they still managed to pull this off. Or make it look presentable. The highlight of the room, however, is what's underneath this hatch here. Oh, don't say anything yet. An underground wine cellar. Mr. in gray. This is the first time the guy in... Gray speaks up. Mr. Luke Wright memories to play from the forms they signed earlier. His sudden attentiveness catches me off guard. Since the start of the tour, only his wife has shown any form of genuine interest in the place. But this time, something lights up in his eyes at the mention of the Undercroft. What's so interesting about a basement? I really don't understand rich people sometimes. Right now, he just gives me the impression of a child who has seen what he absolutely wants for Christmas. I've always found it cute whenever I see children act that way, my younger siblings especially. But a grown man? It's almost funny. Yes, sir. It could house around 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine. I'm sorry, who the heck needs 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine? Truly. And the room? How was it built? The bricks that were used to build the cellar have been carefully picked for the purpose of maintaining and preserving a constant temperature and humidity in the room. It's a good place to keep your private collection in if you have one, sir. It keeps the corks in good condition. Oh, love. Didn't you say before that you wanted to make your own personal vineyard? Perhaps you could start one here. Ma'am right? you look funny. This position that you're in. <laughs> you know we're going to need space for that, darling. I like that they turn to like look at each other. I like these lights. They're good. Good piece of live 2D. I think it's live 2D. And this isn't big enough? If it's space you're worried about, sir, the Ermengarde Mansion sits on a 46 acre lot. There's plenty of room for it. We were told that the original owners had a horse stable built here before, too. There's a contemplative expression on Mr. Wright's face, but he doesn't say anything further. His wife, however, seems really pleased that he started to show interest, if only a little. I smiled to myself. I may not completely understand how these people's minds work, but I sure as hell know how to spot a buyer with sincere interest. Score! I can't wait to tell Rose. The rest of the tour goes by without a hitch. After more than half an hour, we're able to cover almost every room in the ground floor and are heading to the parlor. Funny, the first time BRC had us survey the property, I kept complaining to Rose how big it is. Now I can't even bring myself to care, no matter how much my feet hurt. Maybe this is just my excitement over a possible sale? Excuse me? Excuse me. When we reach the parlor, however, an odd feeling washes over me. It starts off as small goosebumps on my skin, a feeling of being watched intently. Whispers in my ear and shadows dancing, lurking in the corner of my vision. Dark silhouettes that are gone when I turn to look. A chill settles down my spine, making me feel sick, and I start to break out in a cold sweat. I, I can't do this. I need to sit down for a moment. The old ladies in the group have been resting. Requesting for a break anyway. If I can Excuse just... Excuse me? Everyone? We... We will be taking a 15-minute rest here before we visit the first floor. In the meantime, please help yourselves to the refreshments and snacks we've prepared. If anyone has any questions, feel free to approach me. I'd be happy to help you. I let them sit while I retreat to a quiet corner to recover. It, it's not what you think. Don't think about it. It's not what you think. I probably just caught Becca's cold. Don't think about it. I'm left alone for a good while, the same words spilling out of my lips in silent hair, until a hand taps.
taps my shoulder. Hello, are you there? Y yes, ma'am. Oh, look at you. Having to show a group around a mansion this big must be exhausting. Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just doing my job. What a hard worker. Anyway, Isabel, right? No, you close. Isabella, though. actually. But yes, what can I help you with, ma'am, right? Please, just Hana. Call me Hana. Hana. I just wanted to ask, how soon are we able to move in? My brain completely stops. The sick feeling plaguing me is suddenly gone, replaced by utter bewilderment. Is this a joke? She looks at me expectantly as I struggle to come up with an answer. Wait, ma'am, I... You see... But we haven't even negotiated a price yet, ma'am. We haven't even finished touring the rest of the mansion. A sale would be great and all, but... She stops me from speaking any further and puts a hand on my shoulder. For a moment, with her tight smile, she looks as if she taste, has tasted a particularly sla uh, sour lemon. Oh, please, sweetie, don't insult me. Money is not a problem. And, just between you and me, this place is better off with us than with some old lady who will probably just fill it up with cats. Hey. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with having cats here, ma'am, Hana. I'm sure there's more than enough space here if you want pets. Perhaps I'm still not feeling well, but really, what's wrong with cats? Nothing. They are precious, precious babies. More importantly, why is she talking about moving in already? Well, I'm more of a dog person. Yeah, yeah. But you see, this is going to be a gift to my darling. It's going to be our anniversary soon. Oh, how many years? And it would be so wonderful if you can secure its purchase for us. Why, I can even offer something extra if you help us out with the paperwork. I like money. I... we actually have a process for this, ma'am. I don't really think that would be necessary. I still like money. Or appropriate. I still like money. And just what are you two lovely ladies talking about here? Leaving me and our lovely interior designer to talk here by ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> what would the people think, darling? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's just small talk, love. I was asking if she could help me with the paperwork. I try not to wince when her nails dig into my shoulder. Sorry, has updated. Why? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? I... I don't get what I did. This could have, a lot of different stuff could have happened. Already. Already. I can't help but send an imploring look at Miss McCullough, who only gives me an apologetic smile and a shrug. Uh, uh, yeah, I can give you a fact sheet and a form to fill out. She wastes no time in taking the papers from my hand and shuffles through the bunch. Oh man, Rose is going to be so angry at me for letting her do that. Wonderful. And Marianne, I'd really love to talk to you about those changes. You took some notes earlier, yes? I did, ma'am. But I really hope that this time... Excellent. Hopefully you can help us out too, Isabel. La. Isabella. Right, right. It's a lovely name, Isabel. La, girl! It's Isabella. Yes, that's great. <laughs> we'll be more than happy to put in a good word to your superiors, too, and... What's this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See this horror prop. Achievement! Yay! A look of confusion and disgust appears on her face. Turning to her husband, she merely... He... He merely shrugs in reply. That's... Uh... An interesting work of art. Not to my taste, though. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Darling, Buttercup, art is a complete overstatement for this garbage. <laughs> it looks like a cheap prop from a D-list horror film. Shush, love. 
Let the girl do what she pleases with... Uh, what do they call this? Oh, forget about it. At the very least, it's not as... dreadful as the one art exhibit I was forced to attend last month. You should have seen it, Marianne. Even you would have been appalled. But I'm sure you'll know what to do with our walls once we get started. I highly doubt it is as bad as you say, ma'am. Nevertheless, you can be assured that my team will only pick whatever suits your tastes. Her scarf looks like it's a different color. Nothing of this chain letter sort, of course. It has to always work with a palette. I'm quite sure chain letters these days don't come in this form. It's my turn to be puzzled. Girl, you let them talk for a good, like, couple minutes, and then you're just like, huh? What's going on? <laughs> what? What do they mean? Russ and I double-checked everything. Are, are the papers I handed out enough? I want to ask what I did wrong. I don't want to mess this up. But with the way Ma'am Hannah, Han, Hannah, Hannah's leading the conversation, I'm afraid that exi that's exactly what will happen if I do interrupt That's her. good to hear. See, darling, isn't she an absolute delight to work with? I can't wait to see how this place will look when she's done with it. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, Buttercup. A smile is back on her face when she turns to me and hands me a strange piece of paper. I would still put it away if I were you, though. Otherwise, people might get the wrong impression. Anyway, as I was saying... I don't hear the rest of what she says after that. I can only stare down at the paper, at the letter in my hands. The sides crinkle in my grip, and my breathing grows slavered. Dread quickly fills my mind. Isabella? Isabella? Are you all right? You're looking pale. I didn't even notice when Rose's group joined us in the parlor. I want nothing more than to say that, no, I'm not all right. I want to leave this place. Because I remember everything as clear as day. The letter and those blood-soaked limbs in the attic. It's real. The letter. I, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Careless. I've been so careless. How did I even tell them what that without looking like I've gone mad? Should I even tell them? You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I've already accidentally showed it to three people. I'm not. Rose has green hair. Her hair is green. It's beautiful. And her eyes are green. I won't show you the letter, Rose. I, Rose, I. The words are stuck in my throat. I want to tell her. I really do. But is she going to believe me? She already dismissed me earlier. It's a concussion, she said. It's not. There's really something in this house, in that attic, in that letter. It's going to go after us. Please, believe me. me. Is Isabella all right? Ah, uh, girl, Isabella! <laughs> Ma'am Hannah's voice breaks through the haze beginning to cloud my mind. Rose is looking down on me, worry etched on her features. I didn't even notice when she removed the wrinkled paper from my hands and pushed me down to sit on a nearby chair. From the edge of my vision, I can also make out Miss McCullough asking a passing food server for a glass of water. Through it all, Mr. Wright stands on the sidelines. Although curious, he appears more inclined to watch the scene than help. They are all as likely to believe me as Rose does. To everyone, whatever is in this house is just a hoax, a cautionary tale for children. Isabella, do you need me to call that ambulance? She offers me a drink, but I push it away. I need to get out of here before I cause an even bigger commotion. Clear my head, take a breath of fresh air. Anything to take my mind off things. No one is going to believe me anyway. No, I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Excuse me, I'll be back. I just need to catch my breath. Bowing my head, I mutter a quick apology and gather my stuff to take quick ex- to make quick ex- it doesn't matter if this place is haunted or not. I've caused trouble and Rose can be quite unforgiving of behavior like this. 
I'm almost at the door before she catches up. Isabella, me. wait! The apprehension must have been quite obvious on my face because her expression instantly shifts to something gentler. Eyes softer, a fun smile spreading on her lips. Hey, I'm not angry. I know. I'm sorry I ruined this for you. Come on, you didn't ruin anything. It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. And look. She hesitates, completely trailing off, before shifting her gaze down to her hands, a small gesture to stall. Her fingers are fiddling with a piece of folded paper. It's that stupid letter again. Okay, she didn't look at it, right? My hands stiffen when she gives it back, but I take it nevertheless. More as an automatic response than a de any desire to have it back. I'll throw it away if I can. But I have this nagging feeling that one way or another, it'll find its way back to me regardless of what I do about it. Rose, this is... You have to let them know about... I know you want us to get this sale so badly. And we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean, who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. It's a beautiful house. I'd love to get one of my own if I ever win the lottery. But I think... Look, here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something... I don't know, this... big. I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... My mind stops. What? Wait! No! I can still work! I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought, Hey, it's your own body and you should know more than anyone how you feel. Let me just look real quick. Did I... F myself. I don't want to look too much. I won't look too much. Because they did say it's a little spoily. So I won't look any more. So far I look okay though. I don't see any dead ends. So far. But after this, I really think you should take a break. My fingers are freezing. You're... You're kicking me out?! Mom? No, I'm not. Look, all I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere. I can see you, and let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself, and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over, and I'm already feeling the stress. Please, humor me just this once. She clasps her hands together in front of her, eyes pleading for understanding. And I do understand, to some extent. That doesn't mean I'll feel any less awful. Whether at myself, at the unlucky turn the situation has taken, or for her, I don't really know. I promise I'll give you a full report of what happens after. I'll even let you take the lead tomorrow. Girl, your smile look a little creepy right now. <laughs> Fine. Okay. I'll step aside for now. I forgot how many... For this chain letter. How many people am I supposed to pass it on to? Was it five or was it ten? I've let three people see it. Rose could have been a fourth, but I don't want to let her see it. It's freaking the ring, yo. You have other people watch the tape. You Gucci, right? You're upset. A little, yeah, obviously. If it's any consolation, I won't tell the boss about today. You know how he is. Please don't. I don't want a repeat of the lecture I got during my first assignment. He called me a noob, and I don't even know what that means! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At the memory, we both burst into helpless giggles, earning us strange looks from the guests milling about the door. Talking and laughing like this, it's easy to forget about... Uh, forget any mishaps that happened. Little things you learn to appreciate, I guess. So, are we good? I'm still not okay with it, but... 
Rose has a point. It's better for me to step out of this one for now. I won't be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. I'm not an invalid, Rose. You clearly have not seen how you looked earlier. It's not that bad. Color hasn't even returned to your cheeks yet. Just stay here, all right? Don't even think of going anywhere. Yes, Mom. Let me finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll take you back to Luxembourg myself to have that minor bump checked. At least wait for me to call someone who will fetch you, okay? Call somebody cute, cute, cute. She's, gone, uh, she's gone before I can voice one word of complaint. Okay, dears, I'm going to end it here, but then we're going to jump right back into it. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this part of the letter. I will see you all very soon, and I hope you have a lovely day, dears.